So we see you rocking the hoodie, real Richmond, representing the hometown of Richmond VA. So just, just talk about growing up in Richmond and becoming a musical prodigy at the young age of six, playing a piano. And then um, your love for hip hop and jazz and gospel uh, sort of mixing, mixing up like a pot of gumbo and getting what we have today. Well, um, I started pretty early um, in music. Uh, my family was was heavily involved in church and more specifically the music in church. My uh, grandmother was a choir director. Uh, my uncle, my father also uh, were involved in gospel music. And so um, for, uh, you know, a single parent home, blah, 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 you know, all the cliches of the hood or whatever, church was is where a lot of people who fit that, like my, such as myself, that was where we got access to instruments, where we didn't have an organ or a drum set or what have you at home or access to hear it or see it. We got to see it and hear it and experience it and actually play them at church. So that's why the church was my uh, initial influence. But then um, as, as life progressed and um, there was a, I guess you could say you could, my, my skill and, and, and talent became more apparent. Um, mm -hmm. I was involved in jazz through a man who is now passed away, rest in peace, Mr. Tuscan Jasper. He was a, a band director in the high school. He would pick me up from elementary school to play in the jazz band with the high school kids. And I would later march um, from in, in middle school. I'm in middle school, but I'm marching in high school. And uh, long story less long, ended up going to college and I decided to switch over to the piano. I switch over, I was horrible. I worked at it, worked at it, uh, hooked up with a, a, a brother of mine, Boo Britt, phenomenal drummer from Portsmouth area. Um, and he hooked me up with some other cats, the fuzz band. And, that's when I really started to to, own, to hone in on my craft as a musician, as a professional musician and sideman. And then from there, uh, the production, it was the natural prog uh, progression of me being able to play instruments and wanting to provide um, tracks for people in exchange for money. <laughs> it was a hustle move. 